Ready, darling? You go ahead. I want to be brown like Beyonce, said Allison from Colors and Tears. Uh, we should ban pageants for kids under 13 years old because they'll get the wrong idea of what winning is really about. In this speech, I want to discuss what pageants can do to young children. I want to be like brown like Beyonce, said Allison from Colors and Tears. But she can't be brown like Beyonce because she is white. So her mom has to take her to go get a spray tan. So what Allison's mom did was uh, she took her to go get a spray tan, and Allison brought a picture that she colored and showed the lady that was going to give her a spray tan, I want to be this brown so I can look like Beyonce. And so this is giving the children the wrong idea that no matter what they look like, they don't look good enough to them. So they have to like go and prove themselves, like in spray tans or like regular tanning or things like that. And what these girls think about themselves is really unhealthy for the sweetheart princess and junior teen ages, age divisions. They think that they're not pretty enough they need spray tans, uh, flippers, which are like fake teeth. So when young kids, they don't, they still have their baby teeth or they lost teeth, they get fake teeth to put in. They get hair extensions, fake eyelashes, fake nails. They cake on makeup on their face so they don't look at all like themselves. And they get the wrong idea about winning. They think that it's all about the money and for the crown. They really want that crown, but it's not at all the crown that we need. 2,500 compete a year in the United States, and most of them do like 5,000 pageants per year. And that's a lot of pageants and a lot of money that their parents are spending. Like, each pageant costs like $6,000, and usually the dress costs $1,000. And so these girls, they start getting the idea that they aren't skinny enough, so then they have self-esteem issues or body image problems and self-worth issues. They don't think that they're good enough at all because what the judges are really uh, judging you on now these days is how you look and your appearance. They have struggled with perfection. They don't think that they're good enough if they don't win because the judges didn't like what they did or they just messed up a little bit, like walking or saying an answer. And so these, these kids have like disorders because of what pageants are doing to them. A lot of them have depression and the intensity of uh, committing suicide. 6% of girls in beauty pageants report have uh, have suffered from long-term depression. That's a lot of girls if you think about it. Um, I have a story to tell you that can be a good effect to pageants. Uh, this girl, her mom, when she takes her to restaurants, she can't order her own food. So her mom um, let her do a natural beauty pageant, which is like no makeup, just like nothing. It's just like you put on a dress, you do like interview questions, and that's pretty much it. And so when she started doing these natural pageants, she blossomed and then she could like order her food and like talk to people, so she wasn't as shy. So that is a, a good effect for doing pageants because some people can actually improve. And then she got Miss Heartland Junior Team. And then she started talking to young kids about bullying and cyberbullying and all this all these things that uh, affect their society. And so another thing is that there are age limits on some pageants, like Miss USA. For the Miss USA, it's 18 to 28, and then the Miss Universe is the same, 18 to 28, and Miss Teen USA is 14 to 19 years old. So I have some pictures to show you that these girls really don't think that they look very good about themselves, and you're going to see them in these pictures. I said that they... I meant duplicate. Thank you. <clears throat>
what's coming. All right, so as you can see, this girl has a spray, a, a spray tan, a whole bunch of makeup on her face, and tons of hairspray, and kind of a re reviewing outfit that doesn't fit her age. This mom decided to give her child Botox because obviously she wasn't pretty enough. This girl is also wearing a really outfit with tons of makeup because obviously she doesn't feel that she's pretty enough. This girl has very, very long thick nails. This girl does not look at all like her own, her age. She looks like she's like really old, but she's not. This girl just, I don't even know. This girl is kind of sad because as you can see, these other girls have, have trophies and she does not. This girl's outfit probably costs a thousand dollars, but her mother wanted to pay for it. And this girl's outfit is not her age at all. And this girl's eyelashes are way too long because they're fake. And this is a before and after picture of a girl that competed in a pageant and after. This is also another before and after. So as you can see, there are pros and cons to pageants, but I feel like it's better if we ban these pageants so girls don't have these disorders or they feel bad about themselves. So we should ban pageants for kids under 13 so they don't get the wrong idea. Children get the wrong idea and they don't understand what winning is really all about. And I have one more quote. As Marlo forcefully tied Sydney's dress, uh, she explained, it does not matter if you can breathe or not. It only matters if you look beautiful. I actually know this girl. She was one of my best friends. and so. She kind of has the wrong idea because obviously she doesn't think she's pretty enough. And this was for Taurus and Thank you very much. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you, Madison. Okay, and if you wouldn't mind staying where you are, I think we're going to ask uh, a few questions and do your best to answer. And you can control who you'd like to, to call upon. The 6% of budget girls in the current depression are different from the average of Is it six percent of pageant girls suffer from depression? Is that different from the much different from average people who are not in pageants? I do not know that answer because I did not further my research in that. Um, are there some girls who do not feel that way in pageants and self esteem issues? Yeah, some girls feel confident in themselves in themselves, so some girls don't. Do you think it would be okay for these girls to first take that would be the contest that you're talking about? I yeah, I think it would be okay because you're not like you're not putting all this like stuff on yourself and I feel like you feel really confident about yourself. You're just like dressing up a little bit. Um what's the difference between like young pageants and old? Like why not ban all of them? Because so young pageants are like their moms like forcing these children to do it. And like the older girls are like more mature about their decisions, so they can decide, hey, do I want to do this or this? And when they win titles for the like the older girls, they like do stuff. Like they go do speeches, they meet people, they talk about like their experiences with people, but young girls really don't do that. Jacob? Couldn't this be said for most competitions though? Like whether it be a pageant or a sport? Yeah. That could, yeah, I would, well, I would say that's probably right, because, like, if you're not good enough at a sport, then it's kind of the same thing, so. Uh, you talked about the girl who had, like, positive effects on the girls and history pageants. Is that kind of what you want to do? Is that what the young girl wanted what, to do? Is that what like, you want to do? When yeah. you participate in pageants. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, don't you think that it's more likely the parents' problem for allowing the, their children to attend this kind of competition? Yeah. 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 Ye
did you say? Do you, that, do you think it's mostly the parents' problem, not really the kids' problem, because the parents are the ones who are creating the monsters or creating these Yeah, problems. I guess that is true because the parents are kind of pushing it on their kids to do pageants. So it's like, um, like your parents are reliving them in your child, if that makes sense. Living through your child. Yeah, like since your parent did, didn't do beauty pageants or she didn't win, then she has to do it for her child so she wins. That's totally me. Okay, we're going to, unfortunately, folks, we're going to have to call it a close. But thank you very much. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you, Madison. Get your comments on the front table.